The city of Pampa on alert tonight for those severe storms. The city is still recovering from last week's hail. News Channel 10's Devin Darmstetter joins us after returning from Pampa. Devin, it seems like vehicles took the brunt of the damage. While at the Chevy dealership this afternoon and meeting with auto glass shops in Pampa, the damage was unreal. Brand new and used cars were either totaled or needed tens of thousands of dollars worth of repairs. But that's not the only obstacle Pampa's facing. Well. Owner of the mom and pop shop JILS Auto Glass describes what it's been like as a glass repair business in Pampa over the last week. To sum it up, hectic. It's uh, we're currently, the wife told me this morning, we're 57 pieces of glass behind. I looked at my phone right as you got here. Uh, I have 22 calls to return. With the influx of customers all at once, glass repair shops are struggling to keep up. That's part of the problem now is there's been so much damage, so much glass is required that the suppliers in Amarillo don't even have the glass. Some glass repair shops in Pampa are booked into next year. It's a blessing to have that much work to do, but then it's hectic to try to schedule it all. People are impatient. <laughs> when hail is in the forecast, the Office of Emergency Management in Pampa says it has plans to respond. Right now, uh, whether it's a tornado, an ice storm, or any kind of event, we have a plan for it. And so that plan only gets enacted to the severity of what happens. So we're always prepared. The Office of Emergency Management says other than sending out alerts over social media to those in Gray County, more first responders, equipment and personnel are on standby, ready to respond based on the severity of the storm. Back to you.